term psychogenic non-epileptic seizures is, has a bunch of other names for it. It's non-epileptic seizures, pseudo-seizures, somatic seizures. These are seizures that don't have an EEG correlate, so the brain is not short-circuiting, but clearly something is happening inside these patients. And there's usually a psychiatric component. There's usually some deep-seated psychological issue that's going on. I always compare them to conversion reactions so that your body is telling your brain or your mind that you've had enough, that you're, you need to shut down for a while, and whether it's a seizure or whether you can't move an arm or a leg, there's some sort of reaction that goes on inside of you psychologically that says, I've had it, I need a rest, I'm overwhelmed by whatever's going on psychologically. They're treated by psychiatrists, and they usually have a, a certain way that they look when we see them or the people describe them. Now these non-epileptic events can present in many different ways. They can be just a zoning out, spacing out episode, uh, a fainting to the ground, um, writhing and jerking on the ground. Sometimes when we look at the non-epileptic events, we can tell by how they look whether they are a pseudo-seizure or a non-epileptic event or not. But as you mentioned, there is a frequently an underlying psychiatric component that comes up but also the other important thing is we know that many of these patients really do have regular epilepsy as well. Right, so you can have seizures, epileptic seizures, and you can have pseudo seizures on top of it in the same person, they can coexist. So it's really important from our point of view to know what we're treating. So if the person comes in and they're saying that they're having lots and lots of seizures, we need to differentiate between the pseudo seizures or the non-epileptic and the real epileptic seizures. So non-epileptic seizures or psychogenic non-epileptic events uh, are seizures that can have many different causes. Um, they need to be differentiated from regular epilepsy. The best way to do that is to do video EG monitoring to capture the episodes and confirm them, and then to work with a psychiatrist and psychologist to come up with a very aggressive treatment plan to deal with these type of seizures and make the patient feel comfortable that there is a plan in place to help treat them.